Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are once again going to be talking about that major upcoming snowstorm. And this snowstorm is actually going to be a bomb cyclone as well. We're going to talk about all of that throughout this video. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. And I'd also highly recommend that you check out our very exciting store in the description and the pinned comment down below, alongside our very exciting Patreon page, which is also in the description and the pinned comment down below. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, when do you think that the Northeast will see their next snowstorm after this one? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now, first things first, we're taking a look at our current hazard. So, as you can see, we have our winter weather advisories there, kind of in that purplish, bluish shade. And then in those pink colors, we have winter storm warning. I highly recommend you go to the National Weather Service website there uh, and just click on your county and just check out what kind of impacts they're expecting. That's also a great tool. Now here's our current radar, and keep in mind it takes me a long time to finish my video, so this is probably a lot earlier than when you're watching this video. Uh, I'm recording this at about 6 a.m., so it's probably a lot later by the time I'm uploading it. So this was this morning a little earlier than you're watching this. We have a lot of heavy precipitation that is going to eventually switch over to snow for New England and going to bring a very massive snowstorm, probably one of the biggest of the year. Again, it's also a bomb cyclone, so there's many, many impacts we're expecting with this storm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our modeled guidance as far as simulated radar goes. All right, now here we are taking a look at our first frame. This is for 8 a.m. this morning, which is actually probably around when you're watching this video. It appears that we're going to be having some snow mixing in on the very northern edge by about 8 a.m. There is some snow showers up to the north and some of the other portions of the states. Also, you might be wondering what in the world is a bomb cyclone, and basically all it means is it's dropped more than 24 millibars in pressure in 24 hours, and it is expected to do that. We call that bombing out. It is going to bomb out, so it is technically considered a bomb cyclone. Here we are by about approximately 12 p.m. on Saturday, December 5th here. Heavy snowfall developing there in those mountainous regions, or I guess hilly regions there for northwestern Connecticut and through western Massachusetts and southern Vermont. Same story there for central Massachusetts up through western New Hampshire as well. Uh, some moderate to heavy snowfall setting up, but it's nowhere near as heavy as that snowfall is going to be. As we move towards approximately 4 p.m., you can see there is extremely heavy snowfall going on for portions of Connecticut, Massachusetts, uh, New Hampshire, Maine. Our low pressure center is a 978 millibar low pressure system by this point uh, at, by about 4 p.m. By 4 p.m. yesterday, it was in the 1,000, so definitely crossing over that uh, 24 millibar drop within 24 hours by probably actually a lot, so definitely bombing out here by this point. Extremely heavy snowfall there for Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Uh, thunder snow is going to be possible, if not likely, for some regions uh, in this very, very heavy snowstorm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just move on further within the simulated radar in just a moment. Now, this first model I'm showing you is actually our NAM 3KM, and it's one of the more Western-based models. I'm going to show you actually another model in just a moment, which is a little more Eastern-based, so we can get both opinions. My official snowfall forecast will be at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned for that, as that's the most important thing, probably, for the viewers to know. Uh, so here we are by about 11 p.m., tonight, Saturday, December 5th, and that heavy, heavy snow is still around for New Hampshire and Maine. Keep in mind that as that low pressure system moves further north, you can see it's actually moving towards Maine. We're going to start to see rain mix in towards the coast of Maine. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on if you like snow or not, we're going to start to see that snow melt away probably and see rain along the coast there. Uh, it could be further inland or closer to the coast, depending on what the storm does. That's going to be one of the tougher things to forecast here. It's also picking up sleet possible within those orange shades there that you can see for central Maine. That's going to be a factor as well. Uh, regardless, we have moderate to heavy snowfall going on for Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, especially New Hampshire, and portions of Maine by this point. And then by the time we're reaching maybe about uh, maybe 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, we can see that that snowstorm is coming to an end. The coast of Maine actually switches back to snow at the very back end of that. Now, let's take a look at what that European model has to say, which, again, is one of our more eastern-based ones. By about 8 a.m., it, it has those rain and snow showers kind of for New England, which is pretty much what's happening right now, switching over to snow later on. By about 2 p.m., we have that heavier snow. 
moving into Connecticut and Massachusetts here, but it's a little bit further east there. And by the time we're reaching 8 p.m. tonight, Saturday, we can see that there is heavy snowfall, but it's located a lot closer to Boston, a lot more for coastal uh, New Hampshire and Maine there. Also, Rhode Island and Connecticut getting involved. Uh, and then by the time we reach maybe about 11 p.m., it's still there for Boston. Uh, and then by the time we're reaching maybe about 9 a.m. on Sunday, it's it's coming to an end. There's still moderate snowfall around, but that'll be towards the tail end of the storm. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on. We're going to take a look at all of the total snowfall maps from our models. And then after that, we're going to get into our official direct weather forecast. Now, first things first, we're going to take a look at our NAM 3KM model. And the one thing I want to tell you, again, this is the furthest west one, but also I've said this in videos before, the NAM model is known for overdoing the amount of precipitation that's going to fall. So I think you can safely get rid of some of these totals. This is a little overdone. Uh, but really, if you're anywhere in the grays, you're expecting about a dusting or so. If you're in the blues, you're expecting about two to six inches of snow. You can see Boston is in that. Very low on this model because it's so far west. Uh, it, it likes to keep Boston as rain for a lot longer than the rest of the models. Again, stay tuned for my official forecast as I'll have more information. As we move into the purples, we get six to nine inches of snow, which you can't see a lot of purples there. Nine to 18 inches of snow there in the pinks. And then as it gets into those kind of pastel shades, that's where we're at about 20 to even 48 inches of snow. Uh, this model is calling for those 38 inches plus there for the White Mountains. It has the bullseye set up over the White Mountains there. A lot of snow, basically. Up to two feet of snow, pretty widespread, according to that model. Our NAM 12K model, which is kind of the NAM model but lower resolution, usually they agree with each other, but this model likes to say uh, it's going to be a lot further east than what the 3KM model was showing. Uh, so I would take the 3KM NAM with a grain of salt because even its uh, parent model is calling for a much further east amount of snowfall. Here's our HRDPS model, which is actually just the Canadian high resolution model. And this one has a lot less snowfall, uh, but it has it a bit further east. We have those, I would say nine to 18 inch amounts there for central Massachusetts up through a lot of New Hampshire and most of Maine as well. Here's that European model. And as you can see, it has over a foot in pretty much all of those pinks you can see. So eastern and central Massachusetts very far northeastern Connecticut and northern Rhode Island as well, kind of in those 10 inches plus. Most of New Hampshire and most of Maine are included in that as well. The GFS model here is a little bit further west, kind of like the NAM, but not quite as much. Uh, it keeps Boston in those two to six inch amounts. So Boston, you are really varying according to a lot of these models. Some of them have you at like 10 inches and some of them have you at like two. So there's a lot of bust potential with Boston and a lot of boom potential. Uh, and that's kind of how this storm is going to go. A lot of these areas could over perform or underperform a lot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to get into our official direct weather forecast. All right, now here we are taking a look at our direct weather forecast. And first things first, we have our dusting to three inch layer, and that's going to be for this entire white region. And as you can see, we have a lot of New York in that. That's where you could get some snow showers, lake enhanced as well. They're already seeing some snowfall, so you could get a dusting from that or so. Uh, but then basically, Right along that New York and New England border, or borders, because of multiple states, uh, that's where you cross into seeing snowfall as you get towards New England, into, into the New England states. Basically, unless you're in coastal Connecticut, or maybe very far southeastern Massachusetts, you're going to see dusting to three inches of snow. Let's move on and take a look at that three to six inch layer here. As you can see, for a lot of the hilly regions there in Connecticut, western Massachusetts, and portions of Vermont, we can see three to six inches of snow. And then most of Massachusetts, northeastern Connecticut, northern Rhode Island, all of New Hampshire, and most of Maine here are all included in that. Let's take a look at our six to 10 inch layer. And as you can see in this moderate blue, a lot of central and eastern Massachusetts is in that. I'm, I'm putting Boston at about six inches of snow. They're right in between that six to 10 and the three to six inch layer. And I think that's a very safe bet because you could be within either. It's, it's really, it could go either way. Uh, most, of Ma most of New Hampshire is in this 6 to 10 inch layer and most of M Maine as well. Here's our 10 to 15 inch region. And that's going to be pretty exclusive for those hilly regions in central Massachusetts. Then in through most of uh, New Hampshire, as you can see, and then most of the northern half of Maine. Then we have a 15 to 20 inch region, and that's going to be pretty exclusive for uh, some higher elevation hilly regions there for central Massachusetts, central New Hampshire, and then central Maine and through kind of northern Maine. 
We even have our 20 to 30 inch region here. One for the White Mountains. I think that the White Mountains are going to get a lot more than surrounding regions. That's kind of what the models are trending at. And that's historically what would typically happen in a system like this. And then also for Central Maine, I think there could be some regions that cross over that 20 inch region. Uh, if we get the heaviest precipitation up there. So this is my official forecast, guys, uh, for this storm. Hopefully it does good. This one, this storm really is going to be a difficult one to forecast. And I think a lot of regions are going to do a lot better. And a lot of regions are going to do a lot worse than what I'm expecting. So we will wait and see. Uh, but this is my safest, uh, most accurate guess at this point for this entire storm. Anyway, for yesterday's comment of the day, I asked you guys, which state do you think is going to see the most snowstorm? And Terry Doherty said... New Hampshire. I think that's a very straightforward answer, and I think it's probably the most accurate answer as well. So good comment of the day there. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our diamond patrons, Michael Cotalesa, Alicia Davis, Marcus Conley, Catbite, Alan Sherry, Terry Curtis, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Bill Roberts, Kellen Manhart, Michael Buell, Mariah Vieira, Noah Harley, and Mark J. Alongside our platinum patrons, Adam S., John Benbenek, Alan Balemo, Larry LaPan, Donna Carnes, Justin Quantrell, Dovey Nagel, James Wade, and Cameron Marshall. If you would like to be on this patron end screen, you can do so by joining our Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.